Welcome back. Today we're going to use this FET simulation called Balloons and Static Electricity to try and understand why charged objects are attracted to neutral objects. If we rub the balloon on the sweater, some of the charges from the sweater will be transferred for the balloon, leaving the sweater positively charged. Currently we're showing no charges at all, but if we show all the charges currently present, We've got a neutral sweater, meaning the same number of negatives, which is represented by these little blue lines. Negatives and positives are equal, so the sweater overall is neutral. You can see the wall is also neutral. We've got negatives and positives evenly distributed throughout the wall. And there's no charge whatsoever on the balloon as of yet. So if I take the balloon and I rub it on the sweater, some of those negative charges will be transferred to the balloon. So the balloon now has a negative charge and the sweater is left with a positive charge which is why when they're close together the balloon and the sweater are attracted to each other. The sim has the capability to just show the difference in charge. So you can see that the balloon is negatively charged, the sweater is positively charged and they're attracted towards each other. Now what about the wall? We know that charged objects are attracted to neutral objects. The wall is neutral and our charged object in this case is our balloon. Let's try and figure out why the balloon is always attracted to the wall, whether it's positive or negative. When I bring the balloon closer, notice what happens at the wall. Notice the negatives are repelled away, but the positives are left behind. Now the positives are the nucleus of the atoms. They're very, very massive, they have a lot of inertia, and they're basically going to remain stationary. The negatives are on the outermost shells, and they're very, very light with very little inertia. So they're more affected by the electrostatic force than the positives. So they're going to get repelled away, leaving behind the large positive nuclei. So when I bring it closer, notice that the positives remain where they are, the negatives move further away. And when I let go, we see that they're attracted to each other. Now there's two things going on. We've got repulsion from the negatives in the balloon and the negatives in the wall. And we've got attraction. The negatives on the balloon are also attracted by the positives on the wall. Now let's use Coulomb's law to try and figure out why it's attracting and not repelling. Coulomb's law, as you recall, is F is K Q1 Q2 over R squared. Now the main feature of Coulomb's law that will help us with this analysis is the fact that the force is inversely related to the distance squared. So in other words, as the charges get further and further apart, the Coulomb's force, the electrostatic force, gets weaker and weaker. So if we look at our wall, the negatives get repelled away, while the positives are left behind because they're more massive. So the separation between the negatives, if I just look at these blue charges on the balloon and the blue charges on the wall, the separation we can label this with this blue R. And it's quite large. So according to our equation, the larger the distance, the weaker the force. So there's a force of repulsion due to these blue negative charges, and I'll write that equation now. Now similarly, there's also a force of attraction between our blue negative charges on the balloon and the positives that were left behind in the wall. And you can see right away that the distance between these is actually smaller, and I'll label that with a small red R. So the force between the positive charges on the wall and the negative charges in the balloon it roughly looks like this. Now we can see that because the blue R is much larger than the red R, and it's an inverse relationship, the force of attraction between the red positives and the blue negatives will be larger than the force of repulsion between the blue negatives and the blue negatives on the wall. Therefore, the balloon will be attracted. It has a net force that's towards the wall.